back at the command center, JW Solo USA. It's 36 past the hour, 36 hours now after we installed the batteries and we went uh, 24 hours and now we're going 36 hours past the hour. <clears throat> it's a uh, one and a half day and I'm doing this test to see this system can go two days or three days without being charged with the new Ford Focus seven kilowatts of power okay guys let's check the meter and see how much power has been taken out from the batteries and how much power left right here at jw solo usa thanks for watching all right as you guys uh seen the voltage again <clears throat> so what the mate is doing it's not like, um, I don't know, because since the FNDC is not there, um, to give you the state of charge of the battery that gives you like the percentage, I haven't got it installed, but it's reading the voltage here. The mate, um, the fridge is, the uh, freezer, sorry, is running right now, but since the freezer is not uh, 100, is not pulling over 100 watt, so it's not registering. And if I can show you, it's inverting because that's where the other um, lights is on. So it's running or else it would have been like pulsing. And uh, guys, if the fridge kicks in, then that will do a, co a combination. It combines um, the fridge drawing half 100, 100 watts and otherwise drawing half 100 watts. So it gives you <clears throat> approximately over 100 and some, but it reads about 100 plus, but till it goes to about 200. You guys saw on the video yesterday, it was pulling about 300 watt. So being said that, yesterday is voltage, <clears throat> when we make it for the 24 volt, excuse me, I got a call. That's why I keep clearing my throat. I was going to mention that on the video. I hope you guys... Um, a lot of you guys realize that, but I uh, just want to um, let you know. Um, last night, we were sitting at 56.4, and now this morning, after we made it to the 36 hours range, we are sitting at 55.2. So if you subscribe, 56.4 minus 55.2, it only draws 1.2 volt in 12 hours. So that's the same thing again yesterday. By the time you want to make it to the 24 volt, you only pull a 1.2 volt. <clears throat> if you watch the video, 1.2 volt in 12 hours. So I think the first one, when we started, it pulls a 1.6 is the initial start because everything was running the freezer. The fridge has been sitting for so long. Uh, when I was doing the batteries, till all the installation was done before I fired up the thing. So He's trying to compensate for all the cold that's just to replace on the food and all the other items <clears throat> and that's why but uh i think i have a rough estimate now or a fact or actual numbers that's proven that every 12 hours my system pulls only a 1.2 volt this is how you learn about your system. This is how you know everything around you when running a solar or just in real life. So you, get, you have to keep monitor and understand things. And you can pinpoint that uh, my system only pulls a 1.2 volt if you don't change your behavior of using electricity or your uh, pattern of using it. So you know exactly if you charge your batteries how much power you're going to pull within a day or 24 or 36 or a week. So now I already have a rough estimate. The number has been, been uh, uh, um, the same. So now I can able to pinpoint that 1.2, this is what I use on a regular day. 
if we don't have anything warm or hot like a meat or anything else groceries into the refrigerator or freezer we only use a 1.2 volt in every 12 hours so if you combine it that's going to give you a 2.4 so guys this is the result these are the results and i have to report to you guys again just to show you how the lithiums are holding up if that was an agm that's a different story i hate to say that but i have to admit the fact since uh, i was a die die hard agm fan but the fact is a fact we have to say the, the truth you have to spill the truth that's exactly what i'm saying guys so yeah lithiums are doing good i recommend big time guys stay tuned for the next 12 hours i'm going to be bringing you updates on what the system has uh, uh, taken from the batteries in two days. I'm hoping we're going to make it all the way because that was my estimation. Thanks for watching. Live from Minnesota, JW Solo USA. Bye for now. Bringing you a live coverage from Minnesota, JW Solo USA. We just reached the 48 hours mark. So it's two days of running solar without charging with my new Ford Focus lithium ion battery which is a 7 kilowatt two strings of 3.5 kilowatts each guys as I've been studying the system and uh, when we reached the 36 hours we were sitting at 55.2 volt and we only use within the first uh, 12 hours of that is uh, 1.2 volt on that 36 hours and uh, when we made it to the the 48 hours mark is a uh, 53.6 volt and uh, guys that's what you are seeing on the system registering right now so the total um, voltage we use within the 48 hour mark is um, 2.8. So the system has a pattern of using a 1.2 in the first 12 hours and um, a 1.6 on the other 12 hours. Being said that my wife was using the refrigerator in and out today cooking taking other stuff in there so i think that kicks up to the 1.6 volt like when we started the batteries on the first video so right now we're sitting at uh, 53.6 so i can do a rough estimate that maybe this system can take us all the way to uh two and a half days if i i pull um another 1.6 or no, two point, two point um, eight. That would take us to fifty point, fifty point eight. So this will give us a complete three days of um, running the system without any batteries, and we are still 